In this video, I am going to explain the concept of freeze and what the freeze button does on the MA2. You may have seen this button on the console or on the on PC before and wondered what exactly it does, and I am here to explain that. And no, it doesn't give you uh, Elsa superpowers to turn everything into ice and snow. But it is a very useful tool for busking shows. To understand freeze, you have to first have a firm grasp on what LTP or latest takes precedence is. I'll be making more quick little videos like this to explain things like LTP, HTP, tracking, uh, all, all useful things to have knowledge of. But for right now, all you need to understand is that Freeze basically suspends or temporarily disables LTP for the interaction between the programmer and uh, your playbacks. Okay, but what does that mean in non-lighting nerd speak? Well, that means if I turn Freeze off and I go into the programmer, and I'll flip over to the other screen here. We can see my spot fixtures that I've just kind of zoomed in on a layout view here. If I go into my programmer and say, change the color of these things, uh, and we'll change these guys to a nice sea foam color, you can see that reflects on the layout view. So those are all sea foam as per what my programmer says. And you know, we could change this one to a nice pink this one to something else entirely. And those are all active in the programmer. And you can tell that because the red background is lit. Uh, there is a difference between having red numbers and a red background. So you can actually also just deactivate the numbers stay red, but the red background means that whenever you hit store, that value is going to be stored. If the background isn't red, then it's not going to be stored, but it'll be in your programmer still. So let's do a little thought experiment before we do too much here. Since LTP means latest takes precedence, what do you think would happen if I changed the playback? Because right now it's on red, right? So if I clear out the programmer, these will all go to red. But what happens if I select a new color? These are all in the programmer. But if I go ahead and click on a new color in my playbacks, it will fade to that color. So this is where freeze comes in. If I don't want that to happen, and unfortunately you can't really oops playbacks, let's go ahead and recolor those in uh, the programmer. And now let's go and turn freeze on. So now this means that our programmer has been effectively frozen in LTP world and it is no longer affected uh, by playbacks. The playbacks will not clear out the values. So I can go and select any new color in my playback here and it will not affect uh, what we had just put into our programmer. So you can see how this would be useful for busking. And keep in mind, you can also use blind in conjunction with freeze. So I have these set to white right now in my example, but if I switch over and turn blind on and go back and show you this other screen. Okay, now all of the fixtures I had in the programmer are back to their original playback, right? So the, the programmer is put into blind. So you can use freeze and blind together to be really useful. And as always, you can read a little bit more in depth in the manual, but I figured this would be a good little jumping off point for you guys. I hope you guys found this information valuable. I will actually be doing a full live streaming session to show off my uh, new show file version that I'm working on. Uh, that I'll be taking on tour. So if you would like to check that out, make sure to stay subscribed. And uh, that stream will be live on this Wednesday, that is two days from now at noon. So noon Pacific time, I'll be live streaming, explaining how this color effects generator works. Uh, even though I, I kind of already did that in a previous video that I'll annotate on the screen or excuse me, put a card up on the screen. And uh, there'll also be some other cool stuff that I'm explaining. I made some new features for the show file. And um, yeah, if you'd like to see how that all works, the live stream will be starting at noon on Wednesday. And that would be uh, Wednesday, May the 3rd. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it fun and cool and interesting, there are some other videos that I have linked up on the screen for you to check out. Anyways, uh, until I see you in the next video, happy programming.